YouTube, SK Nation, Steph Kicks family. It's your boy, it's your guy, it's your homie Steph Kicks, and I'm back at it with another video. Yer! You good? What's up? In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Nike Air Trainer 1 SP in the coriander colorway. I'm so excited about this sneaker. I can't wait to start talking about it. But before we do that, you guys know we gotta take care of business. If you are a member of SK Nation and returning to the channel, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. However, if this is your first time here, when you join the nation, you get exclusive information on the latest drops every month. You get mall vlogs, you get sneaker con vlogs, you get unboxings and reviews. If that's something you're interested in, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel down low. And now let's go. Released in early February 2022, this Nike Air Trainer 1 had a price tag of 190 CAD. Now I admit, I was never really into Trainer 1s, but when I saw the release pictures for this sneaker, I immediately gravitated to it and I knew I had to have this pair. I was also really, really happy that nobody gave any energy to this sneaker because then it's that much easier for me to get it. This sneaker came in a beautiful black box with a shiny Nike logo go over the top the info tag on it reads air trainer one sp coriander ashen slate wheat what's ashen slate googling that later and as you guys know i wear a nine and a half there's your tag right there i must say i do love the box it gives me a jordan one vibe only thing the top lid does not come completely off it folds open so let's get into the shoe. Off top, first thing I noticed when I tried them on is that they do fit true to size. And anybody who knows anything about Air Trainer 1s from doing some research, this is actually the 35th anniversary of the first release of this sneaker. And as I said before, I knew about Air Trainer 1s but just never gravitated too much to them. There were other athletes such as Saquon Barkley or Victor Cruz who had sneakers very similar to the Air Trainer 1. A lot of strap action and different things of that nature. But let's go into the details of this sneaker itself. My first impressions about this sneaker is that they actually look even better in person. There's so many details, so many materials that went into making this sneaker. It's a really solid shoe, has a really strong build to it, kind of like a outdoor hiking shoe with a whole lot of style to it. But I do feel like the more you wear the sneaker, the more it will loosen up, which is natural for most sneakers anyways. It gives off a really classic 90s vibe, especially as I mentioned with the strap, and it's appropriate for us to get into the materials. It has really cool earth tones to the shoe throughout. In terms of the materials, I really wouldn't call them premium materials. It gave off a wearability vibe, a shoe that can really be put through the test of time. There are these rough type mesh materials on the toe box, still soft nonetheless, as well as on the tongue, you have some other mesh material, but also in a different type of material. And I really love that because that shows a different side to what Nike is thinking. They're really trying to reach out to many different types of people and get their products out everywhere. Moving over to the mid panel, we have this suede-like material, but also durable. Almost feels waterproof to a certain extent, which moves all the way over to the front, just above the toe box. The heel has this dark brown type of leather, which is really nice. Again, screams all the durability in the world to me with that Nike sign on the back. Another detail to the sneaker that I think is really interesting is the blue bead type design on the little pull tab here on the tongue with the Nike on the top. And of course the strap here comes right off like a Bo Jackson type of vibe with the strap. Moving on to the midsole, coated in this bright yellow with this obvious interruption of the outsole on both sides. And I think that's a dope touch. It's almost as if you dipped your foot in something like a cement because it has a cement type of color. And since we're on the topic, let's move on to the outsole. It's got this clay looking color, beautiful 
with these little speckles of blue, black, that Nike on the bottom in that peach color, much the same as you had on the ankle as we mentioned earlier. Then moving on to the Nike swoosh on the side of the sneaker, just sitting in the middle. And one of the biggest details of this entire sneaker, it is 3 M all over it's expressed all over the front of the shoe as well on the back of the shoe and then these five little dots of 3m just above the midsole you have it all along the back of the shoe just over the nike symbol in blue also above the ankle area all the way around to the back nike coated this sneaker with 3m all over the place and also a small nice little detail on the back of the tongue it is coated in like a baby blue, much like the color of the beads on the front of the pull tab. That's really cool, I love that. The insole has a Nike branding in peach color. And then you have your orange laces, of course, which I couldn't see any other color of laces going on this sneaker. Maybe a yellow maybe a brown but nothing else and lastly the other really cool touch to the sneaker is behind the nike swoosh here on both sides is this iridescent mesh i'm really gonna try to capture this in some b-roll for you guys so that you can all see it properly in its truest form the eyelids are in a gray color as well as the harness for the strap on this side it's a really, really dope sneaker. Nike is also releasing this sneaker in two other colorways. I'll put them right here. That black pair. Whoa. Overall, to me, this is a sneaker that can be worn at any time of the year. I'm definitely gonna have these on feet in the fall. I can't wait to rock them and do what I do. SK Nation, Steph Kicks family, I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel once again and reviewing the Nike Air Trainer 1 SP Coriander colorway with me today. I truly had fun learning more about this sneaker and educating myself, and hopefully I was able to educate you guys as well. If you're a true sneakerhead and you love to have your sneaker collection very versatile i would suggest picking up a pair of these and rocking them the way you like to rock them i really appreciate all the love on my socials and everybody asking me when this review was going to be coming out we got plenty more action coming on the channel we got reactions we got a whole lot of other things coming please stay tuned be patient with me i really appreciate it don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and hit that post notification button so that every time i do release a video you know. Please make sure to follow me on all my socials, on TikTok, Twitter, IG. Feel free to come chop it up with me anytime. I follow back almost everybody. I really, really try to reply to everyone as best as I can. Thank you so much. Well, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. As we always say, shoe love is true love, and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Yeah!